Welcome to my guest bedroom. My husband is travel day. Well, no, today is not travel day. Today is preparing for travel day. And that's why I use my guest bedroom because I can start a week in advance. So I'm like a week out from travel day. <clears throat> so I lay everything out. I plan my wardrobe. Everything is set. It helps with my travel anxiety or stress. I need to be very organized. I need to have everything prepared well in advance so that I know if I'm missing something, I can order it, I can go get something. Okay, I'm, so, I'm already stressed. <laughs> okay, calm down. So I have actually some cool new things that I got just for this trip. I'll show those to you after. I have already decided what I'm wearing every day. Uh, what I do to help just feel organized is I have my little notepad. Um, I like to keep lists all the time, but I usually just put them on my phone. When I'm traveling, this is serious stuff. I have paper and one of these things called a pen, and I write everything down, everything that I need, everything that I think I will need, anything I think I should need. I write down the date of every day that I'm gonna be away. I check the weather, which I've already done. Beside each day, I write what the weather's gonna be that day. I realize they're subject to change, but it gives me an idea. So I start with day one, travel day. I don't need to know what the weather is on travel day because I'm flying through the night. We are going to, we're starting in Paris. I have never been to Paris alone. I've been to Paris. I've never been alone with my husband. So I imagine we'll be falling in love all over again. Then we stay there a few days and then we go to Monaco where we will meet some other people. So I will need a few more dressier things when I get to Monte Carlo, but when we're in Paris, we're just chilling. We're just acclimating. We're just, remember, we're just falling in love. So, um, all over again, we're already in love. Um, so I will just need real casual things in Paris and then I'm making them so I can transition them into a little fancier when I'm in Monte Carlo, but I'll also need, you know, touring things there too. So I'm pretty good at doing carry on. I have my one bag that goes overhead and I have my backpack that I keep at my feet. So years ago, because my husband travels for work all the time. So he's a well-oiled machine. He just slips through the airport, right through security. He never beeps, gets right on the airplane and um, easy. Then I travel with him, <laughs> things get a little sticky. Um, so, you know, I, I'm packing this giant bag and I'm wanting to check bags. I'm beeping through a security. I mean, I'm a hot mat or I was, I'm not anymore. So back then, years and years and years ago, he said, you need to start learning how to do carry on only. I'm glad that I did learn because now with travel such a hot mess and the airlines are always losing bags. I'm glad I'm so efficient already at it. I don't know that I won't check a bag. I may need just in case check a bag, but you better believe everything I really need is gonna be with me on that airplane and I will be sustainable even if they do lose my bag. So in my overhead suitcase, I keep mostly clothes and shoes in my backpack I keep most of my toiletries and my makeup and um, things that I need right on the plane too. It's an overnight plane so I want to have my cozy socks that I will slip into when I get on the plane because I'm going to want to you know sleep or try to sleep. Um, I have my uh, my Boise uh, noise to stopping <laughs> head ear flown thing. I got this new fancy um, 
pillow. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna miss the pillow I normally take, but let me just see. It's like really soft fabric that they have here. And then it just Velcros on and the, oh no, this is good. I, I could fall asleep right now. I think I am not gonna regret this purchase. So that is that. Oh my goodness, I had these on my last trip. Hangers, have you noticed? You can hardly have any hangers in the rooms these days. These things are like, if there's only one thing that I'm gonna show you today that you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I need that, it's this. These things, I'm someone who gets into the hotel room empties my suitcase. I don't dig through and have a big hot mess in the middle of my room. <laughs> everything is out of my suitcase. My suitcase is pushed to the side and I know where everything is. I have these. I used these on my last trip to the packing cubes. I don't know that they make you have more room in your suitcase, but it definitely makes it more organized. I only bring this one, um, crossbody. I can wear it right on the plane because it doesn't count as a bag. It's an accessory. So it's handy because first of all, I don't want to travel with expensive bags. I find they get like too worn. So this is just a Tory Burch bag. The color is perfect. It'll go with everything. If I want to wear it as a clutch, if I'm going out, I just take the strap off and oh la la. And oh, the worst thing, my Dyson Airwrap is not going to work there. So, I honestly, I don't know that I will survive, but let's just all have a word of prayer that I will survive. I ordered this little, it's um, like the plug will work there and it works wherever, apparently. I don't know. Um, but it's a curling iron and it doubles as a flat iron. I'm just gonna use the blow dryer in the uh, hotel room. Um, and I tried this and it works very well. It's nice and small and compact and it comes in this cute little bag. What else do I have? Oh, and I got this new, oh, these two new things. This is for my makeup. Is it excessive? Probably, but, oh, you know what a trick I do because as much as I love putting on makeup, I don't like putting on makeup on um, a vacation because I'm on vacation. My husband's sitting there in the room going, come on, come on, let's go. So um, I do want to put makeup because I know there will be a lot of pictures taken. I don't want to scare myself when I see those pictures. So I do put some makeup, but a trick. Like I don't have the patience to get my lashes done all the time. I just put on like corner lashes but oh, it's just so nice to just go get the lashes done. You could wake up in the morning, literally put no makeup on, and it looks like you have makeup on when you do lashes. I just don't have the patience to go every two weeks and sit there for an hour and have them poke up. I just, I'm a DIYer. I do everything myself. That is one thing I do not feel I can do myself. So when I travel, I go get it done. My new makeup case, what I think is great, and it really fits perfectly into my backpack. And look at this cute little thing that I got for my brushes. I just open it up and then you twist it down. You sit on the counter. I love things that are organized. <laughs> this just makes me feel so happy. And so yeah, and then when I have this on the airplane, I can keep my phone, my passport, ID, everything right in there. And of course, I make sure I bring my eyeglasses. Uh, I'll probably wear my, cause it's a night flight. So I'll wear my eyeglasses and not be bothered with taking my contacts out. But then in the morning, you know, I'll have my contacts with me and I'll put my contacts in to go tour. Oh, and I should keep my sunglasses right in my backpack because it'll be daytime when I get to Paris. And I want to walk through out of the airport um, with my Celine's on. Look very Parisian. Is that Parisian? I don't know. 
All right, let me, so the other thing I do is, um, so I write the date. I write what we're doing that day. I write the itinerary, I write the weather, and I write what clothes I'm gonna wear that day. And so I put all that clothes on before, take a picture. <laughs> I don't claim to not have issues. <laughs> this is the way that I stay calm. So I take a picture of everything I'm gonna wear every day, pack that together in one of my little cubes, and so on and so on. I know what jewelry, what shoes, what accessories are gonna go with each outfit. And I only bring those. I don't bring extras. I bring a few little extras like um, t-shirts just in case, you know, there's a little stain. You know, a drop of chocolate croissant goes on one of these. That's all I plan on doing in Paris, to be perfectly honest. Like, I've done the touristy thing. I don't know, it doesn't call my name. Just walking through the cobblestone streets of Paris and sitting at cafes and eating croissants and baguettes. Oh my gosh, that's all I want to do. So, should I bring some stretchy pants? I think so. Okay, let's get started on trying everything on and just get ready to go. Travel day. I pretty much wanted to feel like um, I'm wearing my PJs. So, leggings, baggy t-shirt, my crossbody with, you know, the essentials in there. And I have this, oh, this gorgeous cashmere sweater that just feels like a blanket. So I'll get very cozy. And like I said, I'll put on my woolly socks. I'll have that. This is just so that I don't have to pack it. <laughs> I'm not actually needing this on the airplane. That's one of my little tricks. And I forgot to tell you too, I have this magnifying mirror because this girl is blind as a bat. If I'm putting contacts in, I need my magnifying mirror wherever I go. So I bring that too. And I do have my other toiletry bag that I bring with me. And my little stand for my iPad. Everything is going to fit in here. I promise you. Um, so yeah, so this is, oh, and when I'm going through security, like I don't usually wear sockets. And I shouldn't have to take off my shoes, but I don't know why. More times than should be normal, I beat going through security. And then they make me go back, and then they make me take the shoes off. And so if I have to take my shoes off in the airport, I will wear little sockets, just in case. So I don't have to walk barefoot in the airport. That would be gross. So this is it. I will wear this going, and I will wear this coming home one outfit that will be worn twice. Day number two, just acclimating really. We'll wander around and try to stay awake that first day and then I'm sure crash pretty early. So just for skinny jeans, sneakers, a t-shirt. It's a little on the chilly side. I don't think the high gets more than 62 which will be a nice change from the Dallas heat that does not want to cool off. And um, I can just, oh, and you see, I already had these two t-shirts here that this is Le Jardin, which is the garden. And this one, I don't think you can see it, but it's white, but it says Bonjour Mon Amour. So I thought, I already have these two French t-shirts. I'll bring them with me. This one I think is Mother and this one is Saint Gasset. So if I get chilly, I throw on a little blazer. Et voila, day number one. And here's day number two. So it's gonna be a little warmer out, around 70. So I think I'll be okay with bare legs and bare arms. And we'll just be touring, around, not even touring around, walking around enjoying the sights and the smells and the people. And remember eating croissants and eating baguettes with lots of butter, carb loading for that marathon. I don't plan on doing this trip. And this will be, oh, and if I wanna switch, I don't think we're gonna do anything too fancy at night, but if I wanna dress this dress up and it does get chillier at night, 
wait a second, I'm gonna show you what I figured out what to do with this dress. How cute is this? Just by putting a bodysuit underneath, it gives me some warmth on my arms, adding a little belt and a pair of heels, and I'm ready to go out. On to day number three, the weather's mid seventies. Uh, so again, I'm good to go. Uh, long sleeves, but they're light and breezy. And this whole dress is just light and breezy. I feel so pretty when I wear this dress. I love it. And with sneakers, perfect. But can I dress it up? You better believe I can. I kick off the sneakers. I throw on a pair of slides. Oh! Try not to fall over. And look, now it's so pretty. I could go out somewhere. Day number four, we're leaving Paris and we're going to Monaco. So I just have a pair of faux leather joggers, one of my t-shirts, I don't think you can see it, but it says, bonjour mon amour. So I'm feeling very French. I don't know if French people actually wear French things on their t-shirts, but I will be. And then a hat. I have also ordered some bucket hats that have not come in yet. So I have this one cap and then hopefully the other hats that I ordered will work. That's why I start early. So this is travel to Monaco. And then when we get there, you know, we'll just wander around a little bit and then we have uh, dinner that night at a nice restaurant, so I will switch completely out of this into something else. So from faux leather to real leather, and I pulled out this cashmere sweater because it's really thin, and it's kind of cute with the puff sleeves. So part of it is going to be outdoors, so cashmere is so warm, even though it's really lightweight. So I thought this would be a perfect something to go if we're outside for a bit. I think there's like a beautiful view. So I think there's a cocktail hour outside and then go in and I will still be just not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. So this is for the evening. So imagine I'm wearing this blue dress again. So this is the second time I'm gonna wear it to tour around during the day. The weather's a little warmer in Monte Carlo, so this will be perfect. It'll cover up my arms and, well, you know, I love that dress. And then in the evenings, we're going out to a restaurant, so I have my wrap dress. I don't know if you saw my video on whether to splurge or not to splurge, but I guess this is a spoiler alert. Looks like I kept it. And this is what I'll wear to go out. And day number six, I am re-wearing the jean dress. So that gets two wears. And then in the evening for a dinner out, slip dress. I'm wearing, I'm picking things that don't crinkle when I wrap them. So this doesn't, the wrap dress doesn't, this other red dress doesn't. And then just a little simple cashmere cardigan because it will be chilly. And here's our last full day touring. I'll pull out the full leather joggers again, a white tee. And then in the evening, we're gonna have something a little fancier. So I thought this dress again, doesn't crinkle up. I brought it on my last trip and it was perfect. And we'll be dancing that night. So I'll do a little dance moves. And then we will head back home. And I know I'll be ready to come back home because this girl's a homebody.